As we kick off the celebration of Women's History Month, News 3 is highlighting local women who are making a difference and breaking barriers. Today, News 3 reporter Angela Bohan takes us into a forensics lab where technicians are working hard every day to solve crimes. Even though it looks cool on um, CSI, it is a lot stinkier in person. <laughs> Emily Bauckham always knew she wanted a job in the field of science, but seeing forensic technicians on TV solving crimes proved to be a calling. It comes back to being able to solve the puzzle. I always loved doing puzzles as a kid. Once I learned that it was a job, I was like, oh, what, how do I get to that job? Feeling like I can uh, take the crime scene and work backwards. She says they have few men in this unit of the Virginia Beach Police Department. In our office, it is mostly women. Balkum and other civilian forensic techs go to crime scenes, documenting details and gathering clues, which they later process with high-tech equipment. This is where we can choose our different light sources that we're looking at. However, Balkum has one specialty that no one else in the department has. This is representing almost the whole life cycle of the fly. This is the different sizes of the larvae, and then it goes into a cocoon, and then it'll merge from the cocoon into the adult form. She recently got certified in forensic entomology, and according to VBPD, she's one of only nine in the U.S. and Canada to hold this particular certification. We're talking about the study of bugs on a dead body. Does it not phase you at all, or does it creep you out? <laughs> no, I guess I've, you know, I've gotten past that part of it. It's not many people want to deal with the stinky stuff. Uh, we have a very a real part of our job that is dealing with the, the gross and the smelly. Some entomologists call insects tiny witnesses, and while studying them certainly isn't glamorous, it can help solve a crime. Bauckham says she hasn't needed to use these skills just yet in Virginia Beach, but knowing that she could help find answers is something that motivates her. I mean, certainly a case where I get to show off my specialty um, and then use that to you know, bring closure to a family, to somebody who's had a loss. Balkum also specializes in the recovery of buried and scattered remains, as seen in these training photos. So that's going through the soil, looking for any um, items, uh, evidence or bones. So as you're walking along and you think you find something, place a flag. It's a unique career. One Bauckham says is in demand and can help give a voice to the voiceless. We try to be unbiased, let the evidence tell us what it, what it can tell us. In Virginia Beach, Angela Bohan, News 3.